everyone, this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills again, and today we are in Christine's kitchen. Hello, and uh, this is Christine. She's actually my daughter. So, and she's got a brand new baby. This is Ginger. She's a toy poodle. We just got her uh, two days ago. Just absolutely gorgeous little baby here. So, yes, yeah, she might be running around and chomping at her feet while we're working, but uh, I'm sure that'll be fine. Yeah, she might be in the video a little bit here and there. Okay, so. Yeah. All right, Ginger. We'll put her down. Now, today, what Christine is going to do is uh, make some bread. And her bread is so completely different from what I make. I make either sourdough uh, loaves or I make uh, plain white bread. I do both. And Christine tells me that she's got this awesome crusty loaf that she makes. Yeah. So today we've decided that uh, we're going to film her making it. So The original recipe that I found was basically for a plain loaf, but I tend to mix it up a lot. So today we're going to do two different versions. Actually, I've already started on some. So we've got a plain one and we're going to show you how to make it with um, um, sliced hot peppers and then I'm also going to make another one with uh, black olives and some rosemary. Um, I've also done the bread with uh, cranberries and walnuts and you can add chocolate in there as well so there's many different uh, variations of this bread that you can do. Super crusty on the outside and very very soft on the inside. So we'll go ahead. Okay I'll so we're gonna go ahead and start. So I've got two bowls. I'll give you one. We're going to do this together. Okay. So I have uh, one and a half cups of lukewarm water. So I give that to my mom. She can put that in there. Mine's in a mason jar, but again, it's one and a half cups of lukewarm water. Okay, so we're both making a separate loaf of bread here? Yes, we are. Oh, awesome. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a quarter teaspoon of um, instant yeast. So that's a lot less than I use. Yeah. <laughs> like that yeah that's fine okay okay then we're gonna add two teaspoons of table salt and you don't use sugar to get the yeast working no oh, the yeast will start to work on its own you can mix in the salt a little bit okay so two tablespoons two teaspoons teaspoons sorry okay okay so we're done with that now I'm just going to mix mine up a little bit here. You'll see it, the yeast will start to activate. Go ahead. This way. Okay. So from here, we're just going to go ahead right away. We can add all purpose flour. And we're going to need three cups of just all purpose flour. Do I get to take a loaf home? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I make the bread, it's always accounted for, so I don't really get many to myself. So I'll let you start okay. with three. Three. I measure, but not crazy. Not yeah, many. normally I just use a knife and slide it across. Yeah. Okay. But because we're gonna add some other stuff to it, it's gonna, I'll do a little bit more on that one. Okay. So yeah, just so I'll just go a little extra there. And then a little less than that. Well, I'm making up for what I... I know. Okay, go. Okay. Perfect. So, I will let you do um, the olive with the rosemary. So, um, I don't measure out the olives. I just basically cut up a bunch, however much I feel like. Um, and then I put that in and just some rosemary. You can put, I don't know. Whatever, a teaspoon. Like teaspoon? Yeah, just like a little handful. Okay. And I'm going to use the um, hot sliced chili pepper. So it's rosemary, not ground, it's the rosemary flakes. Rosemary flakes. Okay. And that's even okay. more. A little more? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Perfect. And then you can just dump all of the olives in there. And if you want, what we're going to do. I will Excuse let you go me. ahead and stir it. It's going to get some more, but that should be fine. And then I'm going to just add a bunch of hot peppers to mine. Again, I don't measure. It's just whatever I feel like. And then a little bit of the juice. That 
gives it a like flavor it, too. Like it a little bit extra spicy. And then, okay, it's stir. beginning to feel like dough bread dough. Yes. So I'll let you use that, but I will probably have to switch it with you. I use my electric mixer for this, so I don't have to work it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot easier that way. You decided not to bring yours out? I correct. This is such a fast, simple process. Okay. That you don't bother. With I don't even bother. Mixer. Sure. Okay. No. Now this makes one loaf of bread. Yes. Okay. Which in this house does not last very long. Wow, I can smell your pot. Yeah, it's got a nice aroma. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So as you said, you could use anything in this. You could also use those roasted tomatoes that we made Correct. together. Correct, yes. And I've actually done that already and it was quite the hit. That's good. Okay, okay is that mixed so, up enough? Or? Yep, that's okay. fine. All right. So now we're just gonna saran wrap it. Just get some extras out, actually. That's probably good. So from this point, you just saran wrap it and let it sit overnight. Wait, okay. All right, here is the um, bread with the black olive mixture. And this is the one with the hot pepper mixture. So that's what they look like now. And you said that you're going to cover them with saran wrap at this point? Yep, and we're gonna let it sit overnight. It sits overnight, oh, okay. All right, so we'll do that. Okay, so here is uh, one loaf that actually ha has sat overnight and it has uh, risen and doubled in size. Okay, so off to the next stage. All right. Okay, so now that the bread has sat overnight, as my mother has shown you, uh, we're just going to take it out. We're going to put a little bit of flour on the countertop. That's quite a, a lot of flour. flour on the countertop. Do you use that much flour? I do. Okay. That's pretty sticky looking, isn't it? Yeah. Now this is a plain one that you prepared the night before so that we would have it ready for the yeah, Absolutely. Because it's got no olives and no hot peppers. That's right. right. Okay. <laughs> Not trying to scare you there. Okay, so we're just going to fold it a couple of times. I'm going to get it into the flour and so from here it's pretty simple you're just going to let this sit again so you can either let it sit in a proofing basket yeah um, you could actually flour this up and put it back in use that as a proofing basket if yep. you wanted to okay i find it easier for myself just to leave it on the countertop so i'll shape it a little bit and then leave it here and you need to cover it with a cotton cloth. So that's going to sit there like that. And then this has to sit here for another two hours. Two hours, okay. And it, I take it at that point it's rising again. It is rising a little bit again. Okay. And then once that's done, it'll go in the oven. Okay, wonderful. Okay, okay now we're at the uh, next stage. Christine has pre prepared a number of loaves, so this one actually has hot pepper in it, but what she has done is she's prepared a number of loaves so that we don't have to wait the two hours and the overnight and all of that, and we can do this in one filming. So, Christine? Okay, so again, this one has sat with a cloth cover for two hours, so now, now we're just gonna put it in the oven. So for the oven, we have set the oven at 450 degrees. I'm going to use a cast iron pot. Dutch oven. Or Dutch oven. Yeah. Um, not this particular one. I have one that's sitting in the oven. So when the oven is preheating, um, you do want to put in the cast iron with the lid so that it comes to temperature with the oven. So I'm going to now grab that out of the oven and we're going to place the bread okay, inside. Okay, so, so you preheat your Dutch oven. Correct. Okay. Okay, so I'll just grab that out of the oven. Okay. Okay, so here's the uh, the Dutch oven. As you can see, it used to be red, but it's now burgundy because of the heat. So we're just going to pick this up and we're going to flip it into the Dutch oven. I'm going to shake it a little bit, 
lid goes back on. And from there, it's gonna go into the oven. With the lid on, and I'm going to set the timer for 30 minutes. So it's cooked in 30 minutes? No. You so once, uh, once the timer's gone off in 30 minutes, we're going to take off the lid, and then that's when you're gonna to start to see the, um, the loaf become very crusty okay, and brown. Okay, so that process there is fairly similar to making a sourdough loaf. Yes. That's exactly how I make it. You, you make it, it does take overnight to make a sourdough loaf, and a good one is made in a Dutch oven. Correct. So that process is similar, except that you're not starting with uh, your own sourdough yeast. Correct. Okay. Okay, so at this point, the how long has it been? 20 it's, minutes? It's been 30 minutes. 30 so minutes. the timer has gone off, so okay. we're going to just open up the oven, and then I'm going to take off the lid. As you can see, it's Oh, it's starting already starting to, to get a nice crusty color, too. Turn off the timer. So now I'm just going to stick it back in the oven. And you can leave it in there for 10 to 15 minutes, maybe even 20 minutes, depending on your oven. You just want it to get nice and toasty brown, so it'll be up to your liking. So whatever you'd like, in terms of the brownness, the crustiness, that's how long you would leave it in for, but typically about 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna set the timer again, and we're gonna go from there. Okay, wonderful, thank you. No problem. Okay, gotcha. Well, as we're letting the bread uh, finish up its last leg of cooking, we're just going to play with little Ginger here. So, she likes to be underfoot at all times, although she's been really good by sitting in her uh, little bed. But this is our cute little addition. Everybody loves her. She's going to have lots of love in this family, eh? Say hi to Nana. Say hi, Nana. Hello, Ginger. Hi, Nana. <laughs> she's so cute. Yeah. Pocket puppy. Puppy. That's exactly what I want. She'll be about 10 pounds though. So, perfect size. Okay. Take a okay, the buzzer's gone off. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and take a look at it. Oh, that looks nice. Okay. So, I'm happy with the color. And how much longer was it in the oven? 20, 30 minutes? Nope, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Second time. Okay. I'm going to take that out. Place it on there. And at this point, we're just going to let it cool. <laughs> but a good way to see if it's nice and ready, too, is to flip it. Oh, yes. The bottom is all very it nice. It sounds like that. It's very nice, nice on the inside. And, of course, doing them in a Dutch oven is half the trick. Yep. So now you're just going to let that sit till it cools and then you can go ahead and cut it up and eat it. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I am taking one home. <laughs> you're very welcome. <laughs>